friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Tea Time with Tracy and Violet. And today I'm starting a new book and I'm just thinking I should, might as well just start another reading vlog. Why not? It's a new book and I enjoy doing these um, just so I can keep track of how much I get done. I'm going to read Nick Cutter's The Troop. I've heard a lot of people talk about this and the only thing I know about it, I just like, I'm on page 12. What I get from what people have talked about, it's about a uh, Cub Scout or Scout troop, five boys and their leader on in the Canadian wilderness is what they said. And um, somebody comes ashore who's totally malnourished, a man that's ravenous, hungry, 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 and is infected with some sort of a parasite or something that I'm assuming eventually people get. And it's kind of a cannibalistic book. So that's all I really know about it. But just from the 12 pages I read, it's in, I knew it was in Canada. Um, it's just off the coast of PEI, Prince Edward Island, which is in the Maritimes. For those that don't know, I'm in Nova Scotia on the east coast of Canada. And um, PEI is one of the maritime provinces. I've been to PEI. I took the kids there one summer for a week or something. It's beautiful, beautiful province. But yeah, not too far from our home. I drove there and then we took the ferry because it, it's an island, obviously. Misha was just a baby. Um, and then I had Mazaya and Mali. But yeah, it's just off an island neighboring PEI. So... I'm just like, oh my goodness, this is kind of neat. It makes it even more interesting because, yeah. Anyways, I'm just starting now. I'll check back in when I get to around 100 pages. And, yeah. It's kind of a, not a huge book, but it's big enough. Uh, oh, that's just... 358 pages so a nice chunk to start off the month of October this technically is the last day of September and I'm starting this but yeah yeah I have I'm cooking bacon I did sausages I'm doing breakfast for supper and nobody's downstairs so except me and Violet so might as well start a book so I'll check back in in a bit I'm just checking in I made it to page 100 in this book page well chapter 15 and it's like 25 after 12 at night I want to stay up and read this whole book that's how it's going it's really good um so it starts off yeah I'm still just blown away that it's taking place in PEI it's just so funny because it's so close to where I live um I could be there in like eight hours something like that uh, that's including a ferry ride. So, anyways. Um, yeah, it started off... Um, well, it really started off with the guy that was on the run. He was at a diner, and he had left already, but the it just recounted what he had. He had, like, five plates, portions of food paid for his stuff, stole a truck and left. And um, he's just ravenous 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 
Um, he stops and eats like a dead raccoon off the side of the road and stuff. Like it's just, mm. uh, and then it flips to the scout boy scout troop. There's five boys, the scout master, uh, Tim, and they're going to this Island off the coast of PEI for a weekend. Like that's part of their scout stuff, earn some badges and things like that. And, they're on the island. There's a little cottage there. Um, and you get to know some of the, like, the, the five boys. Like, there's a cocky guy, a kind of a crazy wired-up guy, a skinny little, I don't know, weird or suck-up kind of guy, a nerdy guy. And, you know, just, you get to know, you get to know. This guy that stole the truck ends up stealing a boat and ends up going to this island and it goes on from there. And it's bananas. It's pretty bananas so far. It hasn't even gotten to the super nitty gritty and there's already some stuff there. But I'm really enjoying it and I could really drink, uh, I could really drink that whole thing I was going to say. I could re read that whole book in one day. I'm sure I could. I'm sure I could. But I need to go to bed because... It's after midnight, and I have to get up tomorrow morning to get my kids off to school. Violet has a haircut tomorrow morning, and it's going to be Friday, so. Yeah, I'll have to leave the troop for the rest of the night. So, anyways, I'll check back, check back with you tomorrow and fill you in, but it's off to a really good start. And I'm going to uh, try to devour as much of that book tomorrow as I can, while they get other stuff done during the day. We'll see.
right, friends. Well, I'm on page 211. It's 10 after 9 at night. I'm about to get my children to bed because I'm done. I had a shower a little while ago. I've been devouring this. And I want to finish the rest of this book tonight, but my husband came home today. Uh, so I want to have a nice evening with him tonight. Watch maybe a bit of telly or something. I don't really care about television, but whatever but I want to hit the hay early but I know I'm gonna finish this sucker tonight I'm telling you I forget what I told you last I think just the gist the beginning how the boys scout troop the man that made his way to the island that sort of thing um, through a series of events the boys are kind of fending for themselves now I won't get into how and it's very Lord of the Flies, or is that what it's called? With the conch, you know, and the boys are stranded on the island. Anyways, yeah, so just think five boys. The adults can't really be in the picture. Food is a no-go, and there's this rampant virus, parasite. It's actually like a worm, a worm. Like, I think of little, like a tapeworm, only some are big and some are small. It's weird. It's really weird. But I'm telling you, this story, I could sit and devour this if I had all day to do it. And I just started this yesterday. Um... Yeah, page 211. There's 300 and some pages in this, but I will 100% finish this tomorrow because I'm dying to anyways, but I'm getting kind of tired now. Uh, but the, <clears throat> the atmosphere that's in this, I feel like I'm a kid and going on an adventure. Not a good adventure, but just being in the minds of 14 year old boys I'm not a boy but a 14 year old and how they would view the world and how they would try to survive even being scouts but the dynamic between the boys I'm telling you there's one that's like the son of a police chief uh, one that's a complete psycho only he's quiet but he's like a psycho uh, one with anger issues one that's really nerdy and kind of living large if you know what I'm saying and one that's well yeah there's five of them and you get to know each each one a bit and in between chapters there's chapters of reports like uh, field studies, almost investigative uh, interviews um, of after the fact, but we don't ever get any kind of conclusion. Like this is evidence log case 518, and then observation research doctor 5, or whatever, and then the time, and what happens, and then an hour later, what happens, they check in, and things like that, and they're just random little reports, but even those are engaging, I, I'm really enjoying this, I'm really, really enjoying this, um, there's some very disturbing things in this, there's stories, just heads up, of animal abuse, yeah, not a fan, not a fan, but just saying, it's just a story, and, um, yeah, just the back, the background to all of these children and how their, their lives have come to be at this point. They're all drastically different from one another, but this is one shared common thing, the scouts that they're in. And they're not even all friends. They weren't friends to begin with. They got along as scouts, but... Outside of that, they weren't friends. So it's an interesting dynamic with deadly consequences. So anyways, I just wanted to let you know 
there doesn't seem to be a dull moment in this book. I love books when they do this to me. There's no skimming involved in a book like this. Um, yeah, so I will check in tomorrow morning. Uh, well, tomorrow when I get a little bit more red. And we'll see what happens. I don't know if any of the boys... I want to read like the last page, but I'm not going to. I want to know if any of the boys live, if they get rescued. Another thing is the boys notice there's ships way out in the distance, military ships, in the boat that was scheduled to come. They don't know if they're going to come or not because there's these military ships way out in the bay. So I don't know. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. I don't want to tell you, but I want to tell you, but I don't want to tell you. You know what I mean? So anyways, I'll be back uh, tomorrow and let you know how I make out. day I don't think I checked in today yet it's 3 37 and I just finished the troop like literally just finished the troop a couple of my kids are gone four wheeling just Violet and me here and I spent the afternoon I did brew a pot of tea I had a couple cups already but I know she's been out for a dance with you guys before Beautiful, beautiful. She comes all the way from Japan. Or, well, originally, that's where she came from. But she has gold around the top here. Gold down at the bottom. Gold around her edge here on her skirt or pedestal. And her whole arm on the side is all covered in gold. So she's pretty fancy. And I'm having some vanilla chai tea. So it's a nice fall day here. Um, it's not super bright. It's cool outside. Um, it feels like fall. It is fall, but it feels like fall, so that's good. Um, and this book was perfect for this time of year because it takes part. It takes place in fall. Um, so that just kind of added to it. And since it's in the Maritimes, like I said, uh, I know the seascape, I know the smells, I know the wildlife and the trees that are around here. They'd be like the ones in PEI. Mm. Delicious, delicious. Anyways, I forget what I last told you, but I really enjoyed this book. Uh, it took me three days to read, but... Um, that was in between, you know, doing everything else that I do in a day. But really, I spent the past three hours straight finishing up this book. I had 158 pages left to read and today, and I'm done. And it's kind of sad that it's over. It's one of those kind of books. Uh, I could have followed those boys at least another couple of days. But anyways, yes, I think what I last said that there was no grown-ups available. The last I said. And that's true. There was five boys. And, yeah, they were tested to the limits. They were scouts, right? So uh, one of them was very keen and very sharp when it came to the scout skills. And you can guess it was probably the nerdy-ish one. 
so he knew what kind of foods to look for and stuff and it was very hard trying to find anything like that but then such the drastic dynamics between the young men they're all like 14 years old and if any of you know what it's like to have a 14 year old boy or girl or remember being 14 14 was probably my worst year in the sense of teenage years like that's the junior high time you know like you're just everything is just crazy Anyways, 14-year-old boys, two of them are very best friends. One of them is, you know, kind of a jock, kind of. Um, then one's the nerdy and one's the crazy. So that's five. And, yeah, the tests that they have to go through to try to be resilient and not mentally crack. Well... What do you expect is going to happen? Are they going to all be able to keep it together? No. And the contagion that's in this, the description of the contagion, I thought it was marvelous. Marvelous. It was heebie-jeebie mar marvelous, honestly. I've never had a tapeworm, but God, I hope they are not like these things in here. No, no. This kind of all started off with a crazy mad scientist wanting to make a miracle diet drug. It would be a two-pill system. One, you'd get kind of a tapeworm thing. The second pill would be to kill it. But, yeah, it went to hell in a handbasket. It never took place in, to begin with, but that's where the whole idea of this came. But the guy at the very beginning that was on the run had escaped the labs that weren't supposed to be taking place in the first place. So, yeah, I really enjoyed not only just the story, but the reports. There's reports, uh, like interview, uh, like their, I won't show you, but their interviews for after the fact, like I said, um, like somebody's on trial. It's not a courtroom interview, but I don't know what it is, but it's some sort of an interview. And this book is divided into three parts. I forgot to tell you that. I don't know what the second. Yeah, there. So the first part, I don't know if the first part has a name. Yeah, the first part is The Hungry Man. Uh, on page 115, it's part two, the infestation. And then page, well, what page? So the 159 is contagion. Yeah. So it's divided into three parts. And, yeah, I... I found this reading style, I don't know if the words I'm using, like reading style or writing style, um, I was sucked into this story right away, and it was very entertaining and very, I wouldn't say this is a coming of age story, but it was interesting to read from the perspective of 14-year-old boys in amongst a horrible crisis kind of thing. I don't generally read YA things or middle grade things. I really don't. Nothing against them. It's just it's hard for me to do that. And this certainly is not YA or anything like that. This is quite gruesome and stuff. But there's some books I can read with young characters in it, like The Stand or The Summer of Night or this or not The Stand, It. You know, different ones like that. This is a horror story with children in it and very minimal adults. And um, it was disturbing. Uh, it would be scary. It would be scary. It didn't scare me, but it would be scary if this was actually happening. And I felt for the boys. I really did. I felt for... I felt for a, a few of these boys anyways. Not all of them. But, well, that sounds horrible. I feel for anybody that's young, but 
the characters in here. This one that's just nah, nah. But um, anyways, I would recommend this. Um, I this is I like this as much as I liked Kim, as much as I liked Brother, as much as much as I liked The Missing. You know, like this is right up there for me. I really, really enjoy it. This is the first one of Nick Cutter. And um, I want to see what else he writes. On the back, it has a little blurb about him. He lives in Canada. I don't know where he lives, but he lives in Canada. So I don't know whether he's actually Canadian or not. But, yeah, I couldn't put this book down. I really could have sat and read this whole book in one day if I could have. Like, if I had that available time to do that. This was one of those... I couldn't wait to get back to read this. I would rather read this oh, than cook my kids supper, which <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I know priorities. I got to feed my kids supper, but I felt like, okay, I, I'll cook supper now so I can get back to my book. That's what this kind of book is to me. So yeah, definitely check it out. I will have a link down below if you do want to get it. Uh, but, and if you do read it, please let me know what you think of it. Cause yeah. Yeah. It it was just so neat to the story was wonderful and the environment, the area. I it really connected with me because that's really right around the corner. Like you can see it on the map. It's really within driving distance. Well, if you take a boat or go over the big bridge, but um yeah. That's close to home, so I could see I know the birds. I know the smells of the Atlantic Ocean. I know, you know, when they're walking in the water a little bit, it's bone chilling. It is. If you walk in the Atlantic Ocean now, well, even in the summer sometimes, it chills you right down to the bone. It's painful. Um, so I get it. I knew it. I, it was, yeah, just amazing. So anyways, I'm going to finish this tea. Thanks for joining me and this reading vlog. I suppose I should get up and do some laundry now that my entertainment's done with, but um, I still got lots of good spooky, creepy books to read this month, so I'll probably just go on to the next one, but this is one I would read again. I would read again. Absolutely. Um, yeah. All the hype that's about this book, it lives up to the hype. Yeah, some books that get a whole bunch of hype don't live up to it for me. This absolutely did. Oh, just a minute. Yes, just a minute, Violet. All right. That was just a couple of the big kids coming down. But anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So... All right, guys, I don't know what book I'm going to pick up next, but I am so thrilled that I read this book. It's going to stick with me. It's going to stick with me. Didn't scare me in the sense, oh, I was frightened. There were some parts I was like, oh, no, 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 no. So that there was a few things like that. Uh, but yeah, just five star, I guess, if I was to do that six star wonderful wonderful so all right guys with that i'm gonna say have a good night or have a good morning and i might see you tomorrow bye bloop